Welcome to Nerdy Thursday. This is where I get to wear these really cool glasses and bring up a really interesting case. So anytime an interesting case comes into my office, I'm gonna just bombard you guys with it so you can learn. So I had a patient that came in. She had something placed to help her not get pregnant in 2014. She ended up getting pregnant in 2015. Had a baby and the doctors told her, oh, you expelled it, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Then recently, she gets seen in the emergency room because she's having abdominal pain um, and is having an acute cholecystitis, which is an inflammation of the gallbladder. Well, guess what? They did a CT scan and they found something in her abdomen. I'm going to show you guys the CT scan and I want to see which one of you guesses what she has. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to try to scroll really fast before this video runs out. There's the heart, these are the lungs. So we're scrolling down. Liver, spleen. Then you're gonna start to see the kidneys. There's one kidney, there's another kidney. And then all of these little bubbles, it's just bowel. Bowel. There it is. Right there. Do you see that? Here's the anterior abdominal wall. Bow and voila. I should not be there. And it's just on that view. Now, if you look down here, there's your uterus. Right there. And then the round. You guys are so damn smart. For those of you that got it, it's an IUD, and I can show you how that can happen. So here's a uterus. When a provider gets an IUD, they go inside of the cervix. Um, so when you put the catheter in, if the uterus is flexed back, it's really hard to put the IUD in if you're not pointing this downward or upward, upward in the direction of the uterus. Sometimes it's really hard to tell. Um, and so I can see why this can happen. It can happen to anybody. Um, but for the patient to just be dismissed like that without proper testing, without having seen it at delivery. So if in fact this came out at the time of delivery, you should have been able to see it. You should have been able to see it embedded in the placenta, in the amniotic sac. This thing just doesn't disappear. Regardless, the way that it happened was a perforation. So when we put an IUD in, show you guys kind of goes in like that and then you inject it and then this comes off now obviously it gets pushed in a little further in there it stays in there like that okay but you could see that if I put a ton of pressure here I could perforate the uterine cavity and this patient stated that at the time of her insertion it was extremely painful what we do in our office is after six weeks of placing it, we do an ultrasound just to confirm that it hasn't migrated and that it's still in perfect position. Um, that's just our protocol. So the moral of the story is it's not meant to discourage you guys from getting an IUD. Um, I actually happen to love the IUD. It's one of my favorite uh, contraception devices, especially the progesterone IUDs that help control the bleeding and it really helps um, control pain as well. But um, this doesn't happen all the time. It's actually quite rare. And if it is going to happen, it usually happens on insertion. Insertion is uncomfortable, so don't think that because you had pain on insertion, now you have a perforation. This is like pain out of control, um, which is what this patient described. Um, so, moral of the story is get an ultrasound just to make sure it's in the right place. And um, if you get pregnant, <laughs> it was because it was placed while you were pregnant or it perforated, and that's why it didn't protect you.